Sports. One of the popular sites out there is Beyond the Rack, and the CEO, Jonas Stern, joins us live in the studio uh, to discuss that trend. Good morning, Jonas. Good Thanks morning. so much for being with us. So when we see those uh, terrible weather conditions across the United States, do you see an uptick? Well, we certainly see a lot of consumers turning to their computers, uh, in particular when, uh, when we see uh, special sales uh, going on before the holiday season. So we've seen a huge uptick in sales in the last month month alone, uh, over 30% growth versus what we saw in the month of October. Well, I can imagine, of course, people are going online to do their Christmas shopping. Christmas is next weekend. I can't even believe it. Uh, what are they buying, though, in terms of clothing, accessories? You know, when we first started two years ago, we were very clothing focused, but now a lot of it has moved towards uh, self-purchase items. Uh, we sell a lot of sunglasses, a lot of handbags, and tons and tons of shoes. I wonder who is buying that, um, particularly the ladies, or hopefully the men for the ladies. Um, how do you guys make money? Because these discounts are very deep, up to 50% in some cases. Well, you know, one of the things that really appealed to us about the business model when we first got into this about three years ago was that um, our business model represents a win-win between consumers and brands. So brands have all of this excess inventory that they have left after they've finished selling to their primary retail channels. And consumers are looking for bargains. So if you will, we cr created a marketplace where the two can come together. The brands are happy to get rid of that last little bit of inventory. At Even for nothing? It's at a steep discount. Okay. Um, in most cases, we're giving them a much better value than they would if they went to traditional off-price retail, where they're getting 10 or 15 cents on the dollar. With us, in most cases, they're getting at least their cost out, if not a little bit more. Yeah, Ross wants to jump yeah, in hey, yeah, no, because I, he's thinking about the shoes he's going to buy me. The, well, no, I'm always thinking about that, obviously. Um, besides that, yeah, and as you say, it's a relatively new industry. This. You've got the likes of Gilt, uh, Outlook have been on as well on the flash sales site. Uh, are you mature enough yet? Do you still need to go back and keep raising funds? Have you now got enough members to say, okay, we don't need to go back to the market and raise any, raise any more money? Well, it's a really good question, Ross. Um, we're really proud that, that we, the way we've managed the business model is we don't take ownership of inventory until after we've made the sale to the consumer. So from a working capital point of view, we're actually negative working capital. Um, we're well funded. Um, we have enough money. Um, uh, we're at the point now where we're just about cash flow positive. Um, I think really the, the next phase for us is, is to continue to, f to fund our growth. And it looks like we'll be in a position to be able to do that with available funds. $100 million in sales. $100 million in sales this year, and uh, the company looks like it'll triple uh, in the next 12 months. Well, good to see you. And when it does, please come back. Jonas Stern, a CEO of Beyond the Rack. Thanks Thank so much you. for your time. We appreciate it.